Okay, it's me, Tutorial TV. I decided I really don't like being in front of the camera. I may do it every once in a while, but not often. But today, since I got nothing better to do, because I'm bored, and, well, besides that, I'm going to show you how to use Google SketchUp 8 on your computer. The icon looks like that. The one right below Audacity, which is pretty cool. I may make a video about it later, but not today. Picture of Wrigley Field. Home of the Cubbies. They won when I went. So I'm going to double click on it. On Google SketchUp, not the picture. Well, obviously. And then here, you just hit choose template. And then mine is feet and inches then start using Google SketchUp because I like using feet and inches. So this is what it starts out with. Yeah, pretty blank. I have it on a tripod so I just decided to move it up. Okay. Now, to make a floor, do you see it right here? See, see? My hand. Okay. So you go up to here, here's that, and now I like just going from this blue thing, and now click, and drag, see? And then to make a wall. Just TV. Yeah, as well turn that off. Uh, you gotta click uh, to make a wall. You gotta click right here and drag it like this. But I don't like doing it like that. So Control Undo. There's a much easier way to make a room, which is what I'm good at. Somewhat. See this tool? Let me get my mouse up there. This tool right here. It's like a depth tool, push and pull. So, you just click on that, and then you click and pull. And then you click on the two blue arrows. It's a rotate tool that's to move it around. It's called pan. So then you could move it like this. I'm doing it on my laptop, but you can do it on a computer, which is actually much, much easier. So, you rotate it like that. Yeah, I'm, instead of introducing each uh, tool as we go, I'm going to do it right now. Let's see, ah, here's the select tool drawing tool, like for lines, line tool, eh. oh, rectangle, circle, curvy line, not sure what that does, eraser, tape measure, paint bucket, the same thing, then move it, then rotate it, then, I don't know, and then this is to move it around, then zoom, and then find your thing and then to download stuff to put it in there. So since I just explained all the tools, let's use some. I'm going to use the pan tool and it's my mouse is right here if you could see it. See? You want to go to pan then move it. See? You want it kind of to be like that. And I just zoomed. I'm not sure how. Now I'm going to use the eraser tool to erase two of these lines. It really doesn't matter. It just needs to be like one of these and one of these. 
and guess that one. See? It's a lot less work, trust me. So then to change the color of stuff, you go to the paint tool. I'm not going to zoom in, but I will zoom in on this. And you can make it all different textures, and it's really cool. One time I made an awesome apartment for school on here. So let's have a floor made of fencing. So you just click on it, move your mouse, well, let's make walls, and click, and click. And wow, that looks weird on the camera. And then, let's have roofing as the floor. Same thing, like that. I just keep uh, stopping and pausing, just in case. I get uninterrupted. So after you finish painting, you just close out of this. And then to download something like a bed, which is what I'm going to do, you hit get models. And then you type in like BED. See, then beds come up and you just hit download model. And then yes, directly into Google SketchUp. I'm not sure where else it would be. So now you have it like that. Now say it's too big or too small, you hit the S, you hit the S key, and then you can make it smaller, wider, but that's pretty good. So I'm gonna hit the M key for move, and then move it there. And now I'm going to hit the select key, and you, if you wanted to change the color of it, you uh, hit click on it a lot and then let's see what would my light do not much and then you would just click on a part of it and then you can go to the paint tool and then make it look totally different let me just get a color like Yeah, if... Oh, I didn't even do it right now. <laughs> Messing up on a tutorial. And now I gotta go back to the select tool. You gotta click on it till it looks like this. And that's when you can change the color. So then, just going back to the paint tool. Clicking white so you can see it better. See? White. White. White should be white there so that's your room so far and then I'll, I'll then just to get out of this you hit select tool and click off of it a lot so I'm just gonna do a window then done w-i-n-d-o-w -W. so I'm just gonna do this one and then it's right there so I'm gonna, I wanna put the window right here. So then, it looks like that. And then you go to the rotate tool right next to the move tool. And it just needs to be on a flat surface. And then, it's gonna have a green, black line. Let's see if I can zoom in. See black line? That means that it's not like right in, oops, I did it wrong. Control C when it has a green line you're good to go when that thing is a different color then just make it that color just by moving it around so then you click and then you twirl it around and then you go back to the move tool and you hit it on the wall and rotate tool and that's pretty on the wall <laughs> you can see right through it it's kind of cool so that's my tutorial on this. I really want to try getting these up more, but, uh, you know, sleeping in and stuff like that. So, tutorial TV, goodbye.